Here comes Santa Claus. Well, here we are again. This is year number 17. And I can't thank all of you enough for making this possible. I know these kids that you're going to uh, be involved with today are going to be very happy leaving here. And again, Thank you for doing this. And I'd just like for everyone to join hands and let's say a little prayer and a blessing for the day. Lord, we thank you for this day and this life, and we thank you for the people that you put in our lives and all these folks here today that are going to put smiles on kids' faces. And we ask that you just be with us and guide us and keep us through it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've all got your assignments. Some of you may not have direct assignments, but we will need you to fill in here and fill in there. But again, the doors open at 11. We're going to be handling kids until 1 o'clock. So um, don't come to me at 10.30 and tell me, 11.30 and tell me you got to go. <laughs> okay? Don't be, afraid. don't be afraid. So anyway, I thank you again, and let's get this party started. <laughs> well, of course, any opportunity to work with the men of Cap Alpha Psi is a great privilege and honor. They're serving their community, doing great things, and as you know, Santa is all about service. Oh, these opportunities continue to grow because of the service that these men represent. They represent achievement in every field of human endeavor, and this is quite an achievement after 17 years, still going strong. It's our great privilege to spread a little Christmas cheer and give each of these children something that's going to make their Christmas that much merrier. Christmas message is what it will always be from Santa. Love everybody and serve each other as best you can. Don't be bad. Originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I've been with Cap Alpha Psi for 30, what, 32 years now. From I, I pledged at uh, University of Pittsburgh through Edinburgh University, spring of 1984. Uh, Cap Alpha Psi was established in the year 1911 at Indiana University, and more, more purpose is to uh, for strive for achievement and also community service, which you see here today. All the volunteers we have here today from our fraternity. We strive to you know, help the community and some community hey, hey, members, some of the kids might not be able to, be able to have, have a toy for Christmas. So they get a free toy, you know, a toy giveaway, puts a smile on kids' face. And by giving, you also, it's something that comes within, within also. It makes you feel good about yourself as well. But of course, we'd like to see the smiles on the kids' faces. Well, the volunteers participate. Uh, we're asked to bring donations of all the things you see are all donated from uh, families and the members of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity. That's how we already get, get the, uh, the toys here for the drive. And, and if whoever wants to come first time, first basis, hopefully next year we can even have more volunteers. So now we're getting the word out even more after its 17th year. The importance is that 
You know, we're, Kappa Alpha Psi is always striving to do community service and do things that are good for the community. And, and if the community needs help on some reasons, we have a website. Uh, if they need help on any charitable event, we're more, more than willing to assist. Uh, you, let's look up Kappa Alpha Psi, Sam, uh, Sarasota Bradenton alumni, and, that, and that's our, that'll be our website or on Facebook. It has a what course of Merry Christmas from Kappa Alpha Psi, Bradenton Sarasota alumni, and enjoy, enjoy family, friends, and be safe. I've been a part of uh, this fraternity for about 12 years. I was initiated in uh, around about 2005. Uh, just happy to be here, happy to serve our community, uh, not only in uh, Sarasota, Sarasota, Manatee counties, but uh, na nationwide. Well, that's important because uh, we are noble men that are uh, about achievement and being visible in this community uh, so young men uh, could uh, see us, see the example that we're providing and they can aspire to dream, achieve and uh, move on to that next level. Well, it's ve very important here to stay consistent uh, in the community so the community consistently sees us, they know where we're at, they know how to contact us and that's very important. Uh, a lot of programs, a lot of organizations, they come in overnight, they're here for a little while, the funding goes away, and they're gone. But we are here, we've been here uh, well over 17 years, and we want to continue to provide opportunities and charitable events for uh, this community as, as well as on a national level. Uh, the brothers, the brothers, they roll up their sleeves and we seek donations throughout the community. Several uh, organizations have stepped up to the plate to uh, uh, assist us with food, with toys, but the brothers, we, we roll up our sleeves and, and we get it done. Uh, I've been getting basketballs and footballs up, up until the last minute. I was just at the store. So uh, sometimes we have to uh, not really rely on others, but rely on ourselves to make this happen for the community. Oh, it's uh, a great need. Uh, people in our community, they, ne they need assistance, and we can't forget about them. We owe it, we owe it, we have a ci civic duty to help out others, and uh, that's what we're all about. And just to see the, the amount of people coming and, 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 and fellowshipping and eating, that's what we're all about, coming together, helping each other, uh, get past uh, barriers that may, we may face in our community. We're all in the same team. We're all Americans here, and... Uh, it's my pleasure to be a part of this for the 17th year. My Christmas message will be uh, just give back, just give back. Find something uh, uh, worth uh, supporting and giving back and being visible in the community. Uh, we're happy to be here and I just want to tell all the families out there Merry Christmas and, and Happy New Year. Well, you know, there were a couple of ladies that uh, got together with me 17 years ago and said we needed to do something in this community. And we started this uh, toy celebration. And at the first one, I think we had 30, 40 people. And over the years, it has grown and we're now preparing for 400 to be here today. And uh, it's our signature event and we enjoy doing it. Well, you know, in my fraternity, we're all educated men. We're all successful. Some of us are retired and some of us are still working with jobs in the community. And the community has been good to us. We have uh, fundraisers that we give out scholarships and the community supports us in those things. 
So this is one of the things that we do to give back. And I think if you're successful in anything, or if you're able, just able, you need to be able to get out and give back to the folks in your community, especially the children. You know, we um, work throughout the year, I work throughout the year, and a couple other folks, and uh, we solicit toys from people throughout Manatee and Sarasota, and we solicit the toys from companies, and I've got several organizations that have supported me over the years, and they make sure that the toys get here. So all we have to do is find ways to get out, pick them up, and uh, the organizations that I belong to also support me with toys and financially. Well, you call them great volunteers, but they're great friends. These are all people that I know. And they say, what can I do? And I said, be there on the morning of, of the 16th. And they're there. And um, do I have enough volunteers? I've got more than enough volunteers. But we'll find something for every hand to do. The need's great. The need's great in our community. The need's great all over the world. But we're just happy to be able to do our part to put some smiles on some little faces during this holiday season. And as long as we're able, we'll continue to do that. And we thank you for being here and supporting us. This is a crazy world right now that we live in. Peace, love, and joy has always been by words. And I think if we just respect each other and uh, take care of each other, we'll be just fine. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a happy, happy day. It's important because I know some kids can't afford Christmas. Their parents work six to six and still got love, paycheck to paycheck. It's sad and see them come here and get some presents and have a smile on their face makes me happy. Um, for the same reason, I see some of my classmates come through and get toys and it's just like rewarding to see that smile on their faces. Um, I would say to come back and just um, give back to your community, like your community um, gives so much to you and it's rewarding to give back to them and see that smile on these people's faces and it's just a nice thing to do. I was just telling them that it's good to get back to the community. It's good to see everybody happy, you know, all these faces, all these kids getting presents, presents, you know. It's, it's all about giving, you know. It's not about receiving, it's all about giving. I would say the same thing. It's all about giving, not receiving. This is everything. This is what it's all about. For over 100 years, this is what the fraternity has been built upon. This is what it's about, uh, giving back to the community. So this is what we live for. Um, uh, we just enjoy it. When you look around and you see the places full, it just reminds you of when you were younger and you used to go to places like this. And there are people out waking up early Saturday mornings, uh, donating their time, giving back to you as well. And so hopefully we pour into their lives like people poured into my life and they grow up and they become productive citizens and they just have a great Christmas. So basically, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the last, I'm where it ends. They come through the door, they funnel through, and they get to me, and it's, I'm the last person that they want to beat up to get to the toys. <laughs> I'm the closest to Santa. <laughs> you just feel the hope. You feel, you feel the community is alive, and you're just excited to be a part of it. My Christmas message to the community would just be to, to give back any way that you can. Give love, give hope, spread it. Any way that you can, whether it's time, whether it's gifts, just, just find someone and give back. Uh, 
I've been a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated for six years. Um, I've been doing the tour celebration all six years. Um, we um, give back to the community. We give, and this brings joy to our heart. And we do this for the community. Um, to see these kids, like she was just telling me how much, she, how excited she is to see Santa Claus and what she wants for Santa Claus. And, I just get the joy out of doing this every year to see these kids and see how happy they are and the smiles they have on their face. This is one example that we do. We um we also go into schools. We do tutoring. We do we read to kids at the elementary level. So it's numerous things that we do in the community. But this is one of our largest things that we do in throughout in the community, and that's it's an every year thing. We look forward to this every year. Last year was large. I think this year is larger. I think they told me that line is around that building out there. I haven't had a chance to go out, so I've been stuck in this one little spot, so I don't know. But I can tell by the number of kids and the number that's in the families that there's quite a few kids out that door waiting to come in. We were founded on community service, so therefore we want to get, make sure we do our due diligence and doing for the community, for the ones who may not get anything during Christmas. So we want to make sure that we get, do our part. This is a small part, but it's something to give back to the kids. My responsibility is to make sure we get them to the from point A to point B. They stop to me, I see how many are in a family, and then I send them to the next person, then they send them down and they give them the toy based on the age. Yeah, there's, there, there are several other community um, people here working with us. We have we partnership with other people and they are also doing their part in helping us do this, this service back to the community. I know there are some Deltas here, some Zetas here, um, people within the community, the youth center itself, the 13th Ave itself. So yeah, we're trying to all make sure we get back to the community. Oh, it makes me feel really well. I, you, you, get a, you get a kick out of talking to the kids. They, they, they tell you some things. You, it is so funny, but they're so excited, and it makes you excited. So it, I, it's, 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 a jo it's a joyful thing. Oh, just make someone smile. You don't know what they're going through, and if you can make that person smile, it will warm their heart. It could just make them feel that, that much better that day. I'm Michelle Roberts. I'm from Bradenton, Florida, and I am face painting Christmas um, things on the kids' faces for them. This is my third year participating in this for Henry. I love doing it every year. It's a blessing every year. The kids love it. They're really happy. The smiles on their faces. Um, some of them sit there and they're like, okay, can I get another? I want some more. <laughs> snowflakes. Most of them are asking for snowflakes, snowmen. Had a couple of reindeer. I love doing the Christmas trees. Those are my favorite. I think there's a definite need for um, just being there for the kids over the over the years. I think the best thing is to just stop and think about how their, others will feel when you go and treat them, and just you know give back, like pay it forward to someone else. My name is Carmen Velasquez, and this is our first year coming here at 13 Ave uh, Christmas party. And I'm here, so my son and you can see his friends here at the Christmas party. It's very important because, for the, especially for these children at this time of year, um, this way they can feel loved and feel the presence that people do care about them and stuff like that, and it's giving back to the community. I'm Monique Janite. This is my first time. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. It's organized. First of all, it's important for the children. It's important for the parents as well. Um, a lot of people are have different situations going on, a crisis and everything. So at this time of year, it'll be a good thing for to show love, appreciation, with everybody involved in the, in the community. Christmas is time of uh, being around family, around family, and for everybody, friends and stuff, you know. Um, and it's a lot more tradition-wise, where other children can meet other kids as well. 
and other parents can be other parents and talk and everything else. Um, giving is a good thing, um, especially for like parents like me who work hard and sometimes can't afford the gifts. Then um, people out there like you guys are helping to give. That's a, a real good thing for, for us. Todos son mis, mis hijos, yo soy su mamá. ¿Qué crees de todo esto? Es muy bueno, ayudan a mucha gente, um, le dan regalos a los niños, les dan una sonrisa. She said all this is good because they give us presents and they, at the, to the kids and they give us happy stuff. ¿Por qué crees um, que... Por la Navidad, por este que llega este el niño Jesús el 25 de diciembre. She said for um for Christmas and for the people who doesn't have the, for who people who doesn't have presents like uh, a drawing and a Barbie. Es una bar una una frost. ¿Qué es una frase? Rose. Una Barbie. Have a wonderful Christmas and enjoy what you got. Feliz Nav que tengan un feliz Navidad y un, fel un feliz año nuevo. I participated in the event uh, every year the last 17 years. It doesn't seem like it could possibly be 17 years, but apparently it has been. There's lots of joy and lots of happiness. One of the ways to get the Christmas season started, and thank you very much. Well, definitely hot dogs and chips. We've got candy canes and cookies, lots of drinks, lots of smiles, and lots of thanks for being a part of it. I can't tell you the amount of joy that it gives me to see these children some of them that you can't even communicate with other than to say Merry Christmas. It's a great opportunity to serve the community. It makes me feel very happy too. I think it's excellent. I, I love watching the joy on the children's faces and I love the smiles and then many of them it appears have been here before but obviously they love it. Merry Christmas and Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh, we want to wish a Merry Christmas and Like they say, remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. I would really just like to say that love is the reason that we're here. And if everyone would just love each other, it could solve a lot of problems. I've been volunteering for about five years. I think this is a wonderful event. Um, we're from Turner Chapel AME Church in Palmetto and our youth group comes to volunteer. I just loved seeing the children get Christmas presents and seeing their smiles and um, just seeing their families enjoy the togetherness of all this. There's a great need in this community. The children um, really love it. They love the um, getting together and being with each other and it's just a wonderful day. Well, I'm here to bring them in to support the Kappas, and I'm really grateful and thankful that they are doing this, the Kappa Alpha Psi. What did you get today, Kierney? I got a basketball, a watch, and a stuffed animal. I got a teddy bear, uh, some bracelets, and a nail salon thing. Yes, 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 and it's great. It's great. It's great what they are doing. I participate in this event because we're giving back to the community. We love giving back. It's Christmas time and it's a good time of the season to give. It's always needed to give back to any community, not only just this community, but we appreciate this community because we live in this community and it makes a difference. 
I think their community service is outstanding. I think this is just one of the events that they actually do for um, the community. There are other things that they do as well, and I just want to say thank you to Kappa, Appleside. It teaches the young children, our children, about giving back to the community. And if the family, all of us need to work together to give back, and it teaches them that. Wow, I would say that, you know, every day is a blessing. And to be thankful for each and every day, and to love your family, and to love your friends, and be thankful. Well, this about wraps it up. We've gotten through another year. This is the end of our 17th. Looking forward to being here next year and be able to do the same thing. I'd like to say thank you to Santa, of course. I'd like to say thank you to all the volunteers and all the families. And we were fortunate. We think we've served over 400 people a day. And next year, we're looking to do the same thing.